Talk to you later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tina and it's great to see you. Um, if we haven't met before, please hit that subscribe button so you can tune back in again and see me again in another video. And please hit the like button if you like this video. Tonight we're going to review Tattoo Junkie. Now I ordered from them one week ago, exactly, and tonight I received their box. I ordered a festival kit. The festival kit came with um, these cute little rhinestones. Um, and that night they were running a special where if you made an order, you also got this cute little corrector, which I've already broke into because, yeah, it's been that kind of night. And this thing is amazing. Four lip colors here. And the first one we're going to go in with is called Cheeky, and it is a nude. It is very, very nude on me, as you will see. Yeah, and I did pull off the no lip lipstick lick. <laughs> this this particular color was do that for me. As we can see, that's really not my look. However, it comes with this lovely little container that they're calling a velvet, five ninety five a piece. I got on there on the night they were having a sale. It was twenty four eighty or something. Came with the lip corrector. And this is their velvet effect. And it is beautiful. It just took that lips from being something I would never wear to something I would wear a lot. It's coming up super shiny because of my lights and I, you know, that one's right there because I'm in a tiny, tiny room. Very, very pretty, very shimmery. It's just a nice, very light gold. Very, absolutely love this color with this effect on top. We're gonna take that off. And as you can see, comes off pretty easily with your lip thing. It is very drying on the lips. So we're gonna put on some of my lovely EO shimmer <laughs> go-to lip emergency lip stuff, lip rescue. The next color we have is called Mink by itself not a color I would wear. This stuff dries down so fast. Is it, you know, I don't know, do all of them dry down that fast and do they all make your lips feel this dry, I guess. So that was the Minx and this is the Minx effect and also a velvet and it looks a nice shimmery bronze color and that is crazy the color you see in this is literally the color my lips turn look at that I mean it, it takes it straight from a lip look you know I don't necessarily love to a lip color I love I mean, that is stunningly beautiful. I absolutely love this. I would wear this on a night out. I would probably even wear this during the day. Very pretty, very nice effect, very easy to achieve. Now, I was watching their um, Facebook Live thing that night and I saw the girl on there doing something. I think we should give a try. The lipstick itself appears to be transfer proof. The effect does not appear to be transfer proof. Oh, look at that. Look how fast you can take that from just a beautiful straight effect to an ombre lip. I am not talented. As you guys can tell, I am not like some lip wizard. And I just did that. How awesome is that? I love this. Absolutely beautiful. And it does take a little bit to get it off my hand. Forget the foundation. We're just gonna get this stuff off here before my camera. And I was like, no, I am done for. Do we have the color whatever? It is a very dark, dark color. I like dark lips. I, you know, grew up in the 90s. <laughs> okay, be a little careful. Applying this dark cherry shade. I am making a complete mess of this. 
Okay. Yeah, look at that. See? Total mess, right? We're going to take this lovely little tattoo junkie pencil. All right. This color goes on really patchy. I'm not aside from the spots that I just messed up completely with the little pencil thingy because I'm obviously having a moment. The other colors were not patchy at all that I noticed. This one does take a little bit of messing with, in my opinion. This is a sparkle lip effect that comes with whatever. Other ones also, in my opinion, looked really sparkly, and I know my lips aren't looking perfect here. Let's get this show on the road. Look at that. This is the sparkle effect. Once again, this is a darker color. You need to be way more careful than I'm being tonight. It just takes this from okay to oh wow. Seriously, I am in love with this. I'm in love with me. This does take it off really well, but um, it has its limits. <laughs> Even pushing it to its limits. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that effect beautiful? Now, I think I'm going to take Cheeky, which is the velvet effect in that light color. And we're going to stick that. I know I picked up way too much. So you're seeing the glitter just, or whatever. Oh, look at that. Look at how pretty that is. That's crazy. You know, I've spent at times, I mean, obviously when I'm using a little more care, uh, like, 15 minutes trying to create a lip effect like this and this is stunning I love this I mean I don't know how well this is showing up online this is beautiful it's so easy to make too um their claims I'm gonna tell you I would absolutely 100% back them up um it does have some transfer of the glitter is that not the lipstick and even of the effect it's very minor considering how much of that I just packed on there because <laughs> um, I just packed on a lot and it's still beautiful I would absolutely recommend this this is the color rebel now to get into these packages cute packaging by the way totally adorable it says tatty junkie very pretty little skull and uh, ribbon up here. I absolutely love this packaging, but it is a nightmare to get into. They really, really do not want it just opening up on the shelf. This is the color. It is a very true red. We're going to... As you can see, that color is super red and it has stained my lips. See that? Yeah, that's gonna take overnight. We're gonna take Rebel, very red. All right, I've overlined my lips a little bit. This color is also first application. A little bit patchy but that is something I've noticed with a lot of reds like this okay I'm gonna let that dry literally dries in seconds and we're gonna go in with its effect this is also a velvet not a sparkle and it comes with a very deep red velvet effect all right it's dry As you can see, I'm used to putting lipsticks on with a brush, not a dough pit applicator. 
if you're good with the Delphi applicator, I don't suspect you're going to have nearly as much trouble as I do. Let's see if we can clean this little spot right here, right there, up with their little pencil eraser. See how good that sucker really is. Um, I had good luck with it with the other colors. And yeah, it cleans up this not quite as dark a red really easily. Um, I'm super impressed with this stuff. It's a liquid lipstick and I, I gotta tell you, um, I don't wear a lot of them. So I suspect that this dry feeling that I'm getting that I'm not sure about is probably just me not being used to a liquid lip. Now, <laughs> I am having so much fun with these. We are gonna try going in with another one of these effects and putting it in there. Cause I'm gonna use this minx with that bronze cause I think that that's gonna look really pretty with this. Yeah, look at that. I am a lipstick master. <laughs> I could totally go to town with this stuff. I mean, seriously, I could. I could go to you down with this. This is so much fun to play with, and it's not that hard to wear once I'm getting used to it, used to the feel of it on my lips. It's not like uncomfortably dry, you know, how some things just suck the moisture, like, oh my god, there it all goes. Um, out of your lips, this, uh, it does create a little bit of creasing. I've put on so many and wiped so many off and only used my foam one time. <laughs> Uh, that I think that if I were to use it by itself one time and just put the lip balm under it and put this over the top, it would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I have no problems recommending this. Their company, no problem at all. They got it to the middle of nowhere, Montana, in a week. Uh, you know, the, I ordered it last Saturday. It got here this Saturday. I think that's excellent um especially since i'm pretty sure they were really busy i personally love it i've got enough of it here to last me for some time um but i think it's a great deal even at full price i think these and the little tattoo would be adorable i think you know i think you could actually make one of those um, videos on instagram with these little boogers by using these effects and then just taking some of these and sticking them maybe not so haphazardly as I am how does that look ladies does that look pretty is that Instagram worthy it's probably not because they're probably crooked I don't care it's fun I am having so much fun with this I don't want to stop playing with it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my review. I hope you liked it. I hope you had a good night. Please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again. Let me know what you think. If you've tried it, if you want to try it, if you want to try an Instagram look, I'm seriously, isn't this for everyone? This is totally going to Walmart look. <laughs> I love it. So thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.